love. And I want to thank you all for joining in the chat room, the only late night talk show that lets you tell it like it is. It's your girl, your host, Miss Chloe Chantel, and I have a fabulous sexy, sexy show planned for tonight. I got some beautiful divas in the studio with me that's gonna. Hey, divas! Hey, divas! <laughs> We're talking, we're going to have a good, this is ladies night. It's all about the ladies, but men, you tune in because you're going to want to hear the advice that we're throwing out. But it is ladies night, and we're talking, you know, what are we looking for in men? We're all single, fabulous, hardworking ladies in the studio right now. Yes. And um, we're just going to talk about what it is that we're looking for in men, period. But before we get into that, you guys know what to do. You want to go to Instagram at the.chat.room. Follow me, join in the conversation, leave comments, opinions, criticisms, whatever you want. Just get in on this conversation and um, we'll talk back to you. But first, let, let's introduce my beautiful ladies. We have the beautiful Dr. Dawn, talented, oh, wow. in the studio. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Dr. Dawn. I'm so glad to be here with Chloe Chantel. I'm so honored you asked me. You've only been on how long? About a month. Yeah. It's been about a I'm month. I'm honored to be in and the I chair. And I had to bring the Dr. Dawn in Thank the you for having me. Hi, everybody. Hi, fellas. <laughs> If you ever want to reach out, direct <laughs> message me. I am single and looking. But anyway, oh I'm glad to be here. Right. And then I have the fabulous Miss Kim. Yeah. How are you, Kim? I am awesome. How are you? I'm Hi. doing pretty good. It's yeah. a beautiful night. Yeah. And I cannot have this show without my producer, my girl, Miss Maya D. Hey, y'all. Hey, Maya. <laughs> How you been, Maya? Producer. We've I'm been missing right, you I'm lately. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, I've been here in spirit every yes. time. Yes. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. So, ladies, let's jump into it. We're all of different ages. We're not going to put our ages out there. But, ladies and fellas, do know that we're all of different ages. We come I'm in different ages. I'm in my 30s, so I'll say oh, that. I don't care. Oh, with it. Everyone, I'm in my 20s. Mm -hmm. My early 20s. Yeah. I'm in, in my 40s. Okay. Maya? <laughs> I'm in my um my twenties. Okay, so twenties, thirties, forties. I don't know why it took her so long to come right. up with that answer. Yeah, what's the big deal? I have to say forties, surely. <laughs> it's goodness. okay, Maya. It's gonna be one of those days. So, ladies, we're all single, all successful, hardworking women. Yes. What are we looking for in men? Don, we'll start with you. You're in your thirties. Oh, You're single. What are you looking for in a man? Why haven't you found him yet? What am I looking for? Mm -hmm. Is he breathing? Oh. I don't. Look, y'all, I used to have a list, and now I'm like, is he breathing? And he don't even have to be breathing on his own. I'll take him on life support oh, oxygen Lord. tank. As long as he was born a man. Oh, Lord. Okay, and he's yeah. breathing. That's, I, I that's, don't, you know. that's a good point to throw in there. Uh, I'm just saying. You got to throw that in there. Yeah, you have to throw that in there these days. I don't know. But no, no, I'm looking. Why am I single? You know, I could say, oh, I work too much. No, I just probably have not been focused on my love life. Hmm. And I was focused on career, um, but now I'm to a point now in my 30s. I'm like, you know what? You're going to have all this success, but I'm alone. Mm. And when you look around and you're like, dang. You know, you but have nobody Oprah to share it. it with. No, she's got Stedman. At least yeah. she has. I mean, I don't even have a Stedman, okay? <laughs> so, I mean, I don't even have a dog. So when you look around and you're like, you're by yourself. It's just now I'd like yeah. somebody to share my life with. I want a balance, mm -hmm. and I need that. So that's why. That makes sense. Yeah. And Kim, I'm looking for a good guy. That is out there. Yeah, he is. In the chat room. Yeah. Fellas, He's listening. We're looking. He's, He's listening. listening. Yeah. He is listening. Kim, you're the oldest out of all of us. Yeah. Why are you single? Well, um, I don't like to use oldest. Mm -hmm. I like to use seasoned. Seasoned. Okay. I'm the seasoned. Um, but... Um, I, I've gotten to a point in life, uh, I used to be the just breathing. <laughs> um, I've gotten to a point in life to where I do have, I do have a specific list. Mm -hmm. um, not one of those, oh, you have to be, da -da -da. you mm. have to be respectful. Mm. Uh, you have to be God fearing. Mm. And you have to be able to know who you are without me. This sounds like mm -hmm. a seasoned list. Right, mm -hmm. and, and vice versa. So I don't have, it's not particular, particular, but it is, I, I, you know, it is a man that stands on his own too, but also respects me. I think respect is huge. And why do you think you haven't found that guy yet? Is it, he? Um, I think it's because I'm a crossbreed. Mm. Um, I was young, when I was younger, it was old school. Mom and dad, they working together. Mm. You never see them argue in front of people. Old school rules. Growing up, it kind of went into this new school era. 
So I'm an old new school type of dater. Mm. It's very difficult to find that combination in a man. They're yeah. either new school and doing this, which I'm looking at them like, okay, or they're too old school. <laughs> and I'm a little bit more, in between. You know, so I um I do date. I just haven't found that man that completes me. Do you usually oh. date younger or older? Uh, actually, both. Okay. Both. You keep your options open. Un, you know, crazy enough, younger men approach me. Miss mm-hmm. Kim be killing them. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> she is hot, fellas. So, and when uh, I post that hot. picture, you will know. Uh, <laughs> and she <laughs> wearing this top on her. <laughs> yeah, you guys are too kind. But yeah, that's that's the issue. I'm just you know trying to find that balance. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I can't wait for this answer. Maya. Yeah. Yay, Maya, Maya D. Why are no you answer. single, beautiful I don't know. Maya? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I don't know. I I think I'm just like I kind of am a little career minded, kind of like Don said. But at the same time, I just at the same time, like Miss Kim said, I just haven't found nobody that just rock my boat. I guess you know it's really it's I don't know. I think it's that simple. It just hasn't happened yet. Hmm. And I'm not I'm not rushing it. It'd be nice, but. Yeah, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. Yeah, exactly. But I am, I I do feel I've been, you know, opening myself up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know that was the biggest thing with me. I was very, I think in the past years, I was very guarded. And then Mm -hmm. I'm finally getting to that age where I want to be, you know, flirty. I tell my all the time, (laughs) I want to be flirty and dirty. Dirty. Not dirty (laughs) in that sense, but just just out there. And it's, I think the biggest thing with me and Maya and all the other girls that we, I feel like we don't go out enough. And I was like, I always tell them like, why are we not at some happy hour after work? Like we're acting like we're old souls. Like, (laughs) and it's football season. It's football season. We should be in the bars, you know, having a drink or some wings. And I really think that's the biggest issue. Houston is too big for us to not have booze at least you know just a potential in the phone book so I just Mm -hmm. think you know with us being so I think we're all career minded that we just go to work we so tired we go home and it's just like we're missing that going out I think we got a certain type of dude in Houston that makes it a little harder like do you think okay let's let's get on that does Houston have a certain (laughs) caliber of men what do you mean by that yeah I want to know I honestly feel Houston guys do not want to approach women Mm. Uh, or they I, I feel like and I, I'll give it to them we have some nice looking dudes yeah, they yeah. make it they got some good jobs they mm-hmm. make good money mm-hmm. and I think they know that and they feel like they are the cream of the crop mm-hmm. and that you need to low key kind of come to them and I feel like Let's say none of us are approaching men, but they probably still got, you know, 10 and 15 women that is. Mm. So they're not worried about nothing. Well, I would, I'm I'm hard on the ladies mm-hmm. in that respect. And Me too. What sense? Explain. Um, I believe that people do what you allow them. Mm-hmm. And uh, in my profession, I am a hairstylist, own a hair salon, so I talk to a lot of ladies all the time. And... A lot of the conversation I'm hearing, quite frankly, is disturbing. <laughs> what? Wow. Give us some, exa- give us the tea. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I'll say, uh, and no offense to you ladies, uh-huh. but it's a yeah. lot of ladies in their 20s uh, that are, that are <laughs> you know, they're coming and the first thing they say is, he ain't got no money, what kind of job mm-hmm. he have. So if you're, if you're dating with certain things in mind, then you're going to get a certain type of response from the people that you're trying to attract. Yeah. So, and I'm not taking all the heat off the men, you know, grow up, but <laughs> they, if, if you're putting yourself out there like that all the time, mm-hmm. then that's what they're going to expect to do all the time. It, it's kind of like habit. So if, if I can flaunt, flaunt a bottle at the club and it makes you fall all over me, da, 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 hmm. when a woman comes in, that doesn't move like that, mm-hmm. they're still gonna do it. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna change what they do, it's just who they're doing it to. So of course that's gonna turn me off completely. Right. But the next chick is with it. So yeah. you're like, right. exactly. she's out, they're in. You know, there's right. 10 that will and one that won't. So right. we have to be really careful. That's why I said I'm a crossbreed, I'm a hybrid kind of, because I've, I've seen old school dating, I've seen new school dating, and we need to be like, Mm-hmm. That I, I, I agree with balance. you on that point just because yeah. I feel like in our 20s 
we don't we're still we don't really know yet and we're seeing some of our friends get married so we think like you know what why are we finding our husbands like where's our man at but then we see that maybe uh uh-uh, i'm not even trying to be married at 24 20 i have right. so much life to live right. so where where do you think ladies in their 20s lose that balance are we supposed to be finding a man who's who has money or at least find a man that had is career or goal oriented i think you should find a man who is able to sustain himself, who mm. believes in God and knows the order. There's an order in this. Mm. And a lot of times we're out of order. Mm. I mean, women are out of order because they're leading some man by their nose. You know, we are the backbone, but I mean, I hate to sound like club him over the head, but a man <laughs> is supposed to be the leader of, of the situation. Mm. There are so many who are not that they kind of relax and say, oh, it's okay as long as it's, like there are men out there that women are taken care of. Why? Oh yeah, but it's crazy just because I feel like some <laughs> men are okay with that Maya. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think that's, we got more of that down here. That's yeah, but see, I don't, <laughs> we have a lot. the thing is, okay, and I just have to be honest. Um, the key phrases that we've been using is find a man. You really, that's the problem. Yeah, you go yeah. finding him, that's what the problem is. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have to let him find you. Yeah. And my friend and I were talking about the other day, she says, you're so busy focused on these corporate men, and, and the, but you're not looking at that garbage man, or that man that works for the city who probably got five other businesses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every day. And he's just doing it for benefit. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So you're finding, <laughs> trying to find this man when you need to really let him find you. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it's, and, but also I'm with Kim, women have lowered their standards. To where I don't blame the men, I blame the women. Mm. You are allowing yourself to be, you look at Instagram. Oh. We're putting it all out there mm. so they don't really have to hunt us. Yeah, we're men not are hunters. Li- yeah. So when they don't have to hunt and it's already there, it yeah. makes yeah. it hard. Yeah. Mm. So women have lowered their standards. Um, okay, so I it's, that. you know. That does. That yeah. Does yeah. But see, is it does it make it harder for us women, us four in the building here, who are so successful we don't put out pictures like that does it make it harder because that's what that's what men like and it's why 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 go to this hard woman that's going to make it so hard for me to well, date her I get her but he's a boy he's not a man right. that's right. the problem boys want that that's what little 16 yeah. little year old boys mm. get excited over that you got 30 40 year old men with 16 year old men a real man he, he he's that's gonna have fun with that but he's yeah. not gonna marry that yeah. he's gonna marry this this is quality but yeah. he may marry it so, but it's gonna be a, it, it's, it's gonna yeah <laughs> that's fading yeah, yeah that's fading yeah. yeah so how long do you guys think it takes men to grow up compared to women I know I talk to a lot of men I when I date Maya <laughs> be nice Maya <laughs> when I date I usually date men my age they yeah. might be a year younger or a year older and I always ask all of them when do you see yourself getting married and they all say 30 plus and it's yeah. like wow really 30 plus and you know most of us women want to be we want our first child by 30 do you do they I do. But see, three. Says, it's a time. We need to stop right. having this timeline. Time yeah. Oh, I have to do this by it's 30. Just, I mean, it's just pressure. let just go with the flow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I agree. But so when do men, Kim, you're more seasoned than we are. When do men start growing? I hate to use that word because I feel seasoned. Some men don't grow until they're 50. Right. Wow. It, really? it all depends <laughs> on, yeah, it, I'm, it all depends on the situations they've gone through. Mm. Like, um. You know, my salon is, is men and women. Uh-huh. You know, I have barbers in there. So, so you hear it all. Friday oh, wow. nights, we have our topics. We have our shop talk. Mm-hmm. And cool. we chime in. And there are some men that are like 47, 48, that They'll have never been right. married. They don't want to <laughs> be. And that's okay. But, um, you know, when they come in, they say, oh, I, I got this one. I got that one. I got this one. My question to them is like, what do you do with all of them? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you doing the same thing with all of them, or is it? How do you even balance that out? Does one serve a purpose? The other serve a purpose? I'm trying to, you know, figure that out. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) But in the end, everybody has their own timetable. Mm, That's true. And some people, quite frankly, just because you're male doesn't mean you're a man. Mm -hmm. Just because Mm -hmm. you're female doesn't mean you're a woman. Mm -hmm. There are certain traits that go into that that a lot of people don't have. They may never have it. Mm. So it, if you don't see that person because you're not on Instagram, God is really doing you a favor. Mm. He's weeding all that out for you. So when that person does approach you and say, you know what, and you're in the grocery store looking busted, and they mm-hmm. say, you're absolutely beautiful, mm-hmm. 
that that speaks that's volumes. Mm. You know, that's a real that's a real statement. So you can go on that versus, ooh, I like the way yo look in them jeans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's so. that's a true story because my aunt, she recently got married and she met her husband at Walmart at the grocery store looking exactly. a mess. Okay. And she had a child. She's never been married before and she's in her she's in her upper thirties. Mm-hmm. And um she met her husband. They dated for I wanna say for six months, instantly fell in love and got married. And I always asked her, it's so fast and she was like, you know, when you get my age, you just know what you, you know, want. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. when it's right, you know when it's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And so that that amazes me too. So that's why I know we can't put a time limit on it or even right. scope you know out what? the scene. I feel like that's the story you always hear. It's always like, oh, we was dating for five years, lived together, divorce. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. met them, you know, six months, you just know they be together In forever. Love. It's just like... Because they, I mean... But that doesn't scare you guys a little no, bit? No, it doesn't. It does because really, me. okay, like Kim said, <laughs> and Kim said, God, 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 God. I am a mm-hmm. believer in God. What God has for you is for, for you. Mm-hmm. And his timetable is not our timetable. Right. And his place is not our place. See, mm-hmm. let's not look down on the brother mm-hmm. who is at Walmart, who's in the grocery store, whatever. We got to meet him at the bar. How many yeah, times is that in? Yeah. That's yeah. not a foundation. Yeah. And there's always so, signs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we want to say, and I, I'll just, I, you know, I don't condone this at all, but mm-hmm. the lady that gets slapped around, mm-hmm. right? And she's married to her husband, and she says, oh, he's never done that. But the man who, but he has cursed you out in front yeah. of people mm-hmm. on y'all second was, date. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you yeah, right. So we ignored it. Yeah, yeah you yeah. ignored it because you have a man, and he's with you, yeah. and it's mm-hmm. so nice to be here with somebody. So you ignore certain signs, mm-hmm. and then when it elevates, because you ignored it, just like a kid, if you let them keep right. messing up stuff and you never redirect them, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Mm-hmm. So when it gets to that point and you're sitting there and you're like, mm-hmm. why are you surprised? Mm-hmm. Yeah, You've That's been like, warned. Yeah, future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I talk about them every week on this show. When did really? you think you was going to get? That's yeah. what I was like, oh, when? Yeah, I talk about them every week on this show because that, that really? relationship amazed me. Yeah, it was just crazy where, you know, us women, we love projects, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's Fix what me C- up or- yeah, and that's what Sierra was looking for in future. You I'm knew over that. the guy that he was. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm me. bad at it. I'm yeah, such a nurturer by so. Oh, you are. You're a project I'm such person. A, I'm a project person. Really? I'm such a nurturer, and so I feel I don't like have I get time that from for that my, no more. I don't have yeah. no energy. I get it from that. my mom, and it's just kind of like I see the potential in you, and that's I think that's the biggest issue with women. I think we fall in love with potential. Right. And yeah. that's a that's and a I'm huge over that problem. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Like we fall for that potential, and it's just like okay, it's down the road. Two years later, it's just kind of like you're not molding into the guy that yeah. I'm trying to mold you in, and, and we've wasted problem. two years because he's a grown at man. If the man, if the mama couldn't do it, well, right. yeah, you, you can, can do, do it. it. And then for a man, it's not for us to mold them. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. It's, it's and I was I always say this story, and I'm not gonna like just browbeat whatever, no, right. but mm-hmm. but. When God created man, right, he mm-hmm. created him in his image. So he molded himself. Right. That is that is right. what I get from that. You're my image, but I'm molding myself. Mm. And then I came from you. So mm-hmm. how am I going to mold yeah, what I came from? from. Mm. It's out of order. Yeah. So once we get the order right, cool. then the process is right. Mm. Mm. But... If we're out of order, it's going to be out of order. So just sit tight like I am. Be patient. There's going to be somebody who understands the order. Yeah. And he's gonna probably going to knock on my door and say, hey, girl. All right. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's, yeah, go. let's go. Let me put that That's ring right. on your finger and I'm tonight. Out. I'm out. So, <laughs> so yeah. Kim, are you willing to get married? Are you yeah, Are you ready for it? Definitely. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I have. I mean, I'm an empty nester. My mm. son just went to college. Go, Devin. Yay, Hi, Devin. Devin. Uh, <laughs> How old and is he? He's 19. Oh, that's too young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Don. <laughs> if he was in grad school. <laughs> he's a good guy, That's right, too. Don. Get in the way you fit no, in. No, I'm not. I can't date a 19. But, oh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 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 yeah, definitely open to it, uh, but definitely not willing to do any fixing up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Honestly, to be totally honest, no adjustments, just compromises. Mm-hmm. Um I don't, I, I'm at the point in life that if you're not there, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Meet you in the next, yeah, next. Yeah, yeah. You're not actually later. perfect. I'm not perfect. Mm-hmm. But that's where the compromise comes in. If we respect each other, something I don't like, I'm going to come to you and say, look here, baby, this ain't working out. Mm-hmm. Can we 
work this another angle. You respect me enough to do the same thing. We can get on down the road. Mm-hmm. But if not, yeah. I don't think that's so happen. talk to the ladies who are all listening out there who have a hard time with being single. I see a lot of girls who just, they need a man, and they will put up and settle well, with I'm anything. I'm so glad we're talking about that. That is so much deeper real, yeah. than, like, they need to go sit in a corner and figure yourself <laughs> out because... You need to be able, just like a man. You need to be able to sustain on your own. You need to go through life like you might be alone, cause you need to take care of you first and foremost. Mm. How can you really take care of anybody else if you're broken inside and you need somebody to keep you up? Mm-hmm. Like you need a crutch. So you really need to take some time. Use this alone time mm. to get to know yourself, cause why? Two broken people getting together that just don't make no sense. Yeah. But look. But I digress. <laughs> no, you're right. no, but let's be honest, and I am, I'm, I'm going to be honest with the viewers, the listeners <laughs> tonight. It, can I say the S word, not the S H A, but the sucks. Is that appropriate? You say, yeah, yeah okay. I was just if, It sucks to be single. It's not fun. Um, Is it? No, but listen, when you, when, because nobody wants, that's why a lot of these women are tolerating certain behaviors, because it's not fun to be alone. Mm. And I'm going to speak mm. for myself, it's not fun, and now that I'm to a point where it would be nice to share something, yeah, it's not good to be alone. Mm-hmm. Um, it sucks to be by yourself. When you go places, you're by yourself, because we weren't made to be alone. Yeah. So I get, I get why these saying. women are tolerating this, because it's not fun to be by yourself. When you see everybody with somebody but you, and when you go places, people are like, why didn't you have a man? I don't know. Why are you asking? Do you think, <laughs> do you think I like being by myself? No. Yeah. I, you see what I'm saying? So I get, I get yeah. it, but we shouldn't, you know, I don't tolerate anything, but, you know, I, it's just, it's. I get it. I feel like that's yeah. what girlfriends are for, though, too. Yeah. When you're single, I, mean, I feel like, no, you know. No, but it's nothing like a man. It's nothing really? like a man. Right. And I tell, that ain't no substitute. I tell my friends that all the time. <laughs> no, when no. you have some time to be around some testosterone, please take that time to be around yeah, some testosterone because we could get sick of each other. I completely agree. Yeah. So when you have that time and someone is texting your phone, this is what I tell my friends all the time. I think the first date is so important. And I don't care if you're... If you're not attracted to a guy, but if he approached you and wants to get to know you, and let's say you're not attracted to him, I still say go on that first date. Because mm-hmm. you never know what type That's of conversation right. that he mm-hmm. might have or what feelings that you may get from him just from speaking to him. And then after that first date, then make your decision if you want to, you know, talk to him more. But you don't have to talk to him. But the company important. is what, exactly. It's better than being at the bar with your girls or being at home alone. You're around some testosterone, something different. Not, yeah, so go on yeah. that first date. Yeah, and then you definitely. don't have to talk to him ever again. The power <laughs> of the cell phone. Like, it's, yeah. it's that simple. Yeah. So that's just my No, it is, but it I get to... why these women are talking, because it's not fun to be alone, but at the same time, we cannot lower our standards. It's, mm-hmm. we, you just have to wait on the right one. Pray to God. Seriously, like him. And get said. a dog. But I, I'm, I, a you dog. can't talk about this. <laughs> no. like, but let's dog. be real, because <laughs> these women don't want to be single. We don't like, I don't like being single. Yeah, I yeah. No but we're not desperate, you I know. I definitely but. agree that, you know, people don't want to be alone. You definitely need mm-hmm. social contact. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I think when you have a relationship with yourself, it doesn't feel like loneliness. Yeah. Right. You know, I'll say for me right now, I went through mm-hmm. little, that stage, but I've had a son, so mm-hmm. you know, I kind of cheated. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of cheated. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I had my son at thirty. Mm. Okay, so I just told my age. <laughs> <laughs> but, but before that, I was like wilding out, so I didn't want to be settled down. Now right. I do, but. After becoming like the in- empty nester, mm-hmm. I'm having a ball being single. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, mm-hmm. just just the dating, mm-hmm. I, I date respectfully, mm-hmm. you know. So when I have a chance to meet somebody new, I go to sports bars by myself. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I never leave without knowing someone, though. Cool. I can't yeah, wait I mean, to get to, to that, that time of my life. Yeah, I, I, I just, I'm so, I don't know, I've just gotten to the point to where you're I'm enjoying gonna life, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have a good time doing it. Mm-hmm. 
if I'm in a karaoke bar by my damn self, mm-hmm. yeah. right. then I'm going to be in there singing. Ooh, and singing. Was, you know, I can't right. wait to get to that um, level of my so life. It's, I it's, can't. It's fun for me right now, but of course I do. Yeah. You know, but I, I think that's because you down. know yourself so well. Mm. Like you're comfortable with yourself. Well, let mm-hmm. me say this. I know myself now too, and I know that for so long I have neglected my love life, and I have there are good guys that I have passed that's up mm-hmm. that have now moved on, mm-hmm. and I'm like, dang. Yeah, you know, and yeah, it's too yeah. late. So mm-hmm. I don't ever want that to happen again. Mm-hmm. But like I was talking to a friend of mine about, those were to show me that you know what, next time you meet a good one, you better have a balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's all it is. I mean, yeah. I love myself. I know uh-huh. who I am. But now I know, you know what, next time I find that good one, I'm not gonna put him to the side because I gotta go do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. That, that's not gonna happen yeah. again. That's good. So that's good. yeah, but that's I'm like good. Kim. Go by yourself. There's nothing wrong with There's us. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's much honestly, it's it's. The smaller the group, the more appealing it is mm-hmm. to, you know, yeah. men. Yeah. Like when you're, I went to. They're not dinner. afraid to approach you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I met a guy from Scotland the other day. Oh, <laughs> nice. God. Really interesting guy. Great conversation. You know, he came to my salon to get a haircut. <laughs> now that I have, you know, there was no spark per uh-huh. se, but he's real cool and we'll go to sports bar again you got yeah. a friend that's yeah. all yeah. yeah you got a friend yeah. so let me ask you ladies this this brings me to a next topic i know a lot of men these days have a problem with women i think men and women both have forgot what dating is mm. and it's okay to date multiple people at the same time as long as like miss kim said you're doing it respectively right so what is okay is there a limit to how many men you could date at the same time? That's a good question. That's a great question. I, I think up to... Uh, we, talked, <laughs> no, we talked about this on uh, my show, and mm-hmm. I think up to three people. Okay. At the, that's that's one. I, Respectfully, I now you're talking about sleeping yeah. around. Exactly. But dating, yeah, if you're yeah. not exclusive, there's nothing wrong with that's, at least three. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I Honestly, not to, not to say it would be 50... I don't think it should be. I don't think you should limit that. I mm. think mm. I think you should limit what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now, if you you know doing extra, then you need to limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, if you're if you're just like like I said, going out, yeah. you know, to happy hour, having a drink, having lunch, um, yeah, you know, those types of things, you're really getting to know people, mm-hmm. and anybody who's gonna start to date you should know that okay these are the pre- preliminary stages mm-hmm. i'm not i'm not going to call her and say who you on the phone with exactly like, after a second date if you do then that's going to completely right. it's crazy just because so do. most men it could be men are men my age just because they're still very immature <laughs> but i feel like a lot of men have a problem with women dating multiple Men because they think one they automatically think that oh, we're they don't sleeping. Have to know, yeah. They don't have to know. <laughs> they don't. Mo- yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. Like you don't that. have to know. But yeah. if they do find out, they automatically think maybe you're sleeping you with him. Or that's what like, they, let me tell you something. Because that's what, <laughs> when when men or women are accusing you of doing something. That's because they're doing it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Why are exactly. you so? Because that's what you're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I'm dating. I don't know what you're doing. Right. You worried about and you. You know, I'm just saying. You don't yeah. have to say nothing to y'all, man. Because you're guilty. <laughs> the thing is how we handle it. Let's say they walk in and you're oh, sitting God. down at Starbucks with a guy. Uh-huh. And one of the guys walks in and it's like, you know, what do you do? do, do? It's how you handle that. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, you're, oh, hey, this is so and so. And this is so and so's friend of mine. You know, da da da. Because that's literally and, all he is. This is a friend right. of mine. And, and honestly, for me, I, I let people know that I'm an empty nester or whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it. So they kind of have an idea. Um, but if they get too much, too far, I, I kind of respectfully say, look at Cat Daddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to do all that today. You right. know? No, but it, it's, it's dating to me right now is, is kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet so. Is it hard for you to balance that energy? Because I know with us women, we... If there's one man that we like in particular, we really like, we tend to give him a lot and more then, energy yeah. than yeah. what we need to. Yeah. So yeah. how do you balance that out? If he earns the energy, I say give it to him. Okay. <laughs> I love. Like if he earns like that energy, that. you give it up. That's I mean, hella. seriously, because you never know. That might be, be the, you should be mm-hmm. feeding something. Yeah, you, you might should, be something you should be feeding. If something is, is giving you that, to yeah. where you feel like, God, I want to see him again today. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Roll with it. Roll with your own instinct. Yeah. And don't worry about Ooh, so I have a what question. other people are doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. About so, it. like, how do you know when you like somebody? Like, how do you know when it's like, I should start giving him this? When energy? you sit on the phone for an hour, girl, I'm yeah. talking about nothing. I'm not a phone 
Me either. Text, Text me all day. If somebody can keep mm-hmm. me on the phone yep. conversating, yep. then I'm like, hmm. Yep. If I can go on a date with them and they call me the next day and say you want to meet for coffee and I say yes, mm-hmm. I know that's a big deal because I haven't seen them back to back, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this this guy obviously is, is talking and acting mm-hmm. appropriately or the way that I feed into right. it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give him the energy. If he's yeah. earning it, like I said. I no. agree. You know when you don't like anyone because you come up with every excuse yeah, if they ask to you to come yeah. out to not do <laughs> with it. Me, <laughs> with me, I know if like, okay, if you are chilling at the house, I've just worked out or whatever and I'm tired and I don't feel like going anywhere. <laughs> uh, I'm watching Lifetime. And he's like, you want to go somewhere? And I really don't. I'll get up and go anyway. I'm like, because I like him. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you want to see him. And I don't have to be dressed up. Mm-hmm. You know. You could be you. But I'm in my baseball. You know, when I get up, then that's how you know. Or if he calls me at 2 in the morning, hey, man, let's go to IHUB. I'm working the night shift. You know, or whatever. Yeah. I'm there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Because I like him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So give him, give him the attention. Yeah. Is it okay for ladies to be aggressors? Yeah. Not all the time, <laughs> but is it okay for ladies to be the aggressor? Like, Kim I want to go out with you. Like, meet me here. We're going here. Is it okay for a lady to take Definitely that route? Definitely okay. Because I know the listeners are wondering. I'm like, like, scared off I'm of you guys. You, if you see something that you like, right? That's how I feel. It's Y'all the same it. concept. It's like shopping. If they approach you, <laughs> yeah, and you're not their type. Like we talked about earlier, mm-hmm. then they approach you and Koi was saying, still go out with them. Mm-hmm. You know, he may not notice his mind may be focused somewhere else or, or work or whatever. He may not notice you in that second. But will I see him again? I don't know. So mm-hmm. for me, and that's just me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to approach him. Hey, how are you? You know, but if um, I can, yeah. I'm not that bold yet. I'm no, still but, working. Okay, but this is my I question for y'all. This is my question for y'all. So, Cam, are we talking about like a situation where he's kind of told you he liked you? I'm talking. Or about you're talking you. about you've never met him. Okay, that is yeah. never met him before. But let me ask y'all this one. Mm-hmm. Guy seems like he's into you. Mm-hmm. Doesn't ask you out, but you think he wants to, but he doesn't. Oh. What do you do? That's a because good question. Because my thing is, if you don't step up, I'm yeah, not gonna ask right. you out. But the fellas that's it. listening, I feel like that's I'm a not. really good Girl. question. If you're asking, if you're kind of, <laughs> if we're having a good <laughs> yeah. conversation, and you're so like, so annoying. I, but see, the thing is, my thing is, I need you to step up. Yeah. yeah. And if we've had a great conversation, and you see behind all that media stuff, I'm a nice chick. Step up. Yeah. If you don't, because I had a friend who was like, yeah, you need to kind of invite him now. Because then we start that. I'm not does, no. Yeah, does that mm-hmm. turn you mm-hmm. off for how long it takes a man to get your number after conversation? Hints, and yeah. I've even come out to the point I'm like, you need to ask me out. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't. I think I'd give hints. And if you're not picking up. That's then a turn off for you? On. That's a turn off. It is. Because yeah. mm-hmm. what are we going to do? We're just going yeah. like, to keep talking. I'll be mouse I'll be having to. All right, Maya, I agree. Give these directions through our whole time. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. well, you want to go here? Do you want to go there? Yeah. I like an alpha man. Yeah. Right now, definitely. Sometimes it's a bit of, you got to deal with a little bit of arrogance mm-hmm. in an alpha oh, man. Yeah. So we got to understand we're getting, but they're always going to say, look, you know, let's go do this. Yeah. And this is what I want. So you're not always, you can still, you know, say I want to or whatever, mm-hmm. but that type of man who can't even, you know, ask you out and he mm-hmm. wants to ask you out. That's a sign to me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I need to know. Uh, that's a deal. Yeah, that's a. It's a, it's a, it's it's a I'm not gonna breaker. ask. I'm not gonna know. Because afraid feel, he's afraid to get the answer no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to me, anybody who's afraid to accept the answer no, mm-hmm. that's a problem. Yeah. Especially if, and like Maya said, if I've told you, call me anytime. Yeah. You can hang out. <laughs> you and you throw you, You're still scared. What else I got to do? Because mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I feel like if y'all would continue the relationship, it's always you making the decisions, and that's annoying. That is yeah. annoying. Tell me where yeah, we going to eat. Can't be so doing nothing. Oh my God, have you? I can you leave me, leave me to make the choices. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh Kim, Maya. It looks like you got a story, Kim. Oh Do you have God. a story? Tell us. I, hear Kim. I hear you. The sweetest, annoying. most, I mean, handsome, sweetest, most giving person in the world. And, and to me, everything was right on paper. And it was like, okay, I should really right on hold on to this. But couldn't make a decision to save his life. And so I'm, you know, okay, we'll do this and we'll do this. And after it just gets exhausting. Yeah. 
so <laughs> it's annoying. Yeah. For the for the fellas listening out there, we women we love to be approached. Sometimes we love to be told what to do if it's coming off in a very romantic, look, intimate way. Yeah. Man, listen up, look, 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 Go look. Ahead. Oh, my <laughs> Pre- <laughs> preach to him for a little I bit. Feel like the man is supposed to be the structure, you know, the provider, mm-hmm. like you know, lay that foundation. Like that is your number one. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you need to get that together. You need to know how to bring home the bacon before you even go approach a female. So I feel like if you can't do that, you need to sit off on the sidelines for a little bit and get that together mm-hmm. before you even date. You know, I remember I was in high school. I ain't gonna say no names. There was one couple, <laughs> <laughs> and the man ain't had no car, ain't had no job. The girl had the car and the job. She picking him up and taking him everywhere, doing mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Young man, you shouldn't be dating. You just need to sit yeah, down right too. now. Yeah, like you know what too. I'm saying, like. That's all. And I I'll say this. I'll say this too because I have a son and I I am a little hard on the ladies because we do. Yeah. We, take care of them. I, mm-hmm. I'll put this little nugget. We have the power to rule the world. Oh yes, anyway, yes, 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 yes. So, so you gotta. Talk <laughs> but so, we give up the power. That's what the problem. We do, mm-hmm. What we need to do too is make sure that we are also in the position to date. Mm-hmm. You don't expect, especially now in this mm-hmm. economy. Don't expect to, I mean, it's going to be very rare and, mm-hmm. and they're going to be out there, but don't expect to find no man that's going to just completely take care of you. No. Mm-hmm. Don't walk around and have this coach and Michael Coors and all this and you mm. don't work and you have, you know, people taking care of you and you <coughs> expect something else. When I say respect in dating, it goes both ways. Mm-hmm. If I ask a guy out, like I, I have, I'm dating now and mm-hmm. I say, you know what, I really want to go see this movie. Of course, you know, the fellas I'm dating is like, no, 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 I wouldn't dare. But if somebody says, yeah, can we wait till next week? Because I'm, you know, I just finished this first of the month yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I want to go tonight. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pay, pay for the for movie. It. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you have to be in that position, too. Mm-hmm. You can't just expect and not be right. able to at least, like, if yeah. somebody takes you to dinner, I have a rule. I'm going to pay the tip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it just it's just showing him. Yeah. Look, I'm here with you. Yeah. Same, yeah. You don't have to carry me through this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to work with you. That's, like that. That's, I, love I love that. that. Part two. Yeah. 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 Part two whole right. people. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> although women, men do carry a bulk yeah. of responsibility in a relationship, let's just put that out there. Because yeah. y'all are the line leaders. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anybody that wants to lead with great men come great responsibility. Yes. You're either going to take that or you're not. Mm-hmm. But women... We are the complete help meets. Mm-hmm. We are the backbones. Mm-hmm. Don't fall short on your responsibilities right. either yeah. and expect a guy. Because I'm sure that's exhausting for a man. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, my wife ain't worked in 20 years. Or, yeah. Right, you right. Know, it I'm, has to. Go ahead, Kim. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> you have to really, you have to really, especially this economy is you know, it, it's it, kind of scary pretty, yeah, at yeah. times. So you got to be able to, even if your man oh, yeah. say, I'll pay all the bills. Go get you, make your little money, stash it up. Mm-hmm. So when he, if he get laid exactly. off from from Dale or whatever, <laughs> I'm not boo boo. I got we you. Good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. But we don't do that. Mm. We don't function like that. And so our men will get laid off, and women will be like, "I'm out of here. Uh, <laughs> how we gonna do this?" Because yeah. they, they start to the panic, yeah. and they start to, "What you gonna do? What? Well, right. what are we That's gonna right. do? Mm. We? Yeah. yeah what right. are we gonna do? So we gotta stop taking each other for granted. Mm. We gotta stop men. Stop looking at physical and mm-hmm. only wanting your physical self, please. And women have to stop looking at all of these things. superficial yeah. things, yeah. right? Look at the man. If he's a garbage man, like you said, Don, he can have five. Minutes. He got to work job. every day, right? He got hey. benefits. And benefits. He gets, you know, <laughs> he paid vacation. He got in the fiscal every day. Every, yeah. <laughs> He got five other hustles going right, on behind right. the scenes because them yeah. brothers be hustling and helping with right. the muscles. No, right. I agree. That's why I say I, the man. You need to be that that provider, that structure. But you, and I feel like when you're that strong, you uh you attract a woman who's just as strong and she's as you, putting her right. own on top of your own and now y'all coming together right. and you know y'all creating right. something bigger than yourself. Because mm-hmm. you don't ever want to make people say, oh, let's come together and. And make it a hundred percent. Well, that's yeah, only fifty no. fifty. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Everybody. Yeah. We're trying to grind it out. Right. A hundred. A hundred. Now we on top of the game. Mm. We yeah. stand ready, so mm. we don't have to get ready. So and let that's me. What the, that's so what let me about. know if I'm wrong, because Chloe, what I said on the way in here, I said uh, I'm ready for somebody to come take care of me. I'm tired of working. Okay. Yeah. Maya, I know, I'm exact, But I'm tired of working. Maya wants but to look, be somebody's what? muse. <laughs> that's what she wants <laughs> to be. <laughs> 
Maya wants to be <laughs> taken care of. <laughs> but look, yeah. I only say that because I feel like I'm a really good woman in a lot of different ways, and I'm a really hard worker. And I'm halfway joking when I say I want to be taken care of. Yeah, right. But at the same time, <laughs> I know that I'm really, like, ride or die. Like, I'm a hard worker. I'm, like... I'm down for the cause, you know. What I'm saying? But when like you too. stop working because you want your man to take care of you, what does that mean? Like you no, don't want to work. No, I'm working. I just okay. don't want to have a, the obligation to work. So okay, okay, okay. So okay. 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 you're still gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna work because I'm. I'm. That's, that's what you want your who money, I am. but yeah, not as hard. Of but see, but I think I that's kind of piggybacking off of what Kim said. I think that's how it should be because mm-hmm. you know back in the day, women did not have to work. The, right. But the world was so much better where right. all you needed was one income to run a household. Right. right. But nowadays, you do need two incomes to you know be comfortable. comfortable yeah. But at the same time, I think a woman should be working just as that backup. Like if mm-hmm. something happens yeah. with you, I got you. But don't get it twisted that I feel like you're still the bread maker, the right. the leader of the household. Now, are we? Is that wrong to say that the man? How does it? How does it work in a household? Should should rent be split in half, or should the man be carrying the bills and the women handle the groceries and clo- like? Why does that work? <laughs> oh well, first let me. You mean the mortgage? The mortgage. Because <laughs> uh, look, I'm sorry. In my age you're right 20. now, it's hey, you're rent. 20. I'm thirty. Mortgage. Okay. We on rent right <laughs> yeah. now. Y'all on mortgages. <laughs> and it all depends on the situation. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. If, if he if he doesn't make to where if you guys are living together, you're both living there. You're both working mm-hmm. to pay half of the bills. Y'all both still should be coming up. Mm-hmm. You know, if he decides, you know, look, I'm gonna take this big one. You take all the little ones. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's you there's know, nothing wrong with that. So don't put no labels or rules on how the bills should be paid. As I long think, as y'all both winning, yeah, communication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't front with me and say I make this, I do that, and I do this, mm-hmm. and then trip out when I want to give you what I give you per month. We were talking mm-hmm. about this on the last show. What was the question? We were like, um, how should we know how much he made? Yeah, and we did. We talked about that on our very first show here in the chat room. And the discussion was, should you know how much your partner makes? Yes. Whether it's your boyfriend, your husband, or yes, should you know? absolutely. I don't think you should. I don't think you should. Me, so I, I should know how much my husband makes? I don't, I don't, in my view, I don't think your husband, or I don't think your wife should know every penny that you make. I think they should know a round part, but not every dollar. I think Really? That, That's my I know, opinion. I think done. that, yes. <laughs> I think this. I think when you're a boyfriend and girlfriend, it's a different situation than yeah. when you're in a marriage. Mm-hmm. Boyfriend and girlfriend, no. No, yeah. no, no. You no. don't. Because, and if y'all are cohabitating, that's your business. But if y'all are doing that, then everybody needs to sit down and say, this is what I can contribute. This is what I can contribute. Mm-hmm. Put that all in the pot. That's for your bills. That's for your stuff. Everything should be taken care of. Everything else is, if you want to say, well, let's, you know, take a trip or whatever. I got this or I got yeah. that. That's on that. As a marriage, you kind of have to know because if you're going to buy yes. a home, mm-hmm. you know, you need to know that your home can be sustained. Mm-hmm. If you're going to have kids, mm-hmm. you need to know, you know, they're expensive. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had a testimony. So, yeah. So you need to know, I mean, you need to know your husband. Yeah, absolutely. Your, your boyfriend, you don't Some have no boyfriend, stakes. Some mm-hmm. boyfriend, girlfriend, no. no all that. that stuff, no. Yeah. But husband, yes. I just always yes. thought, and this is this is a part of me growing up. This is just what I think now because I always feel like maybe you – You'll know you'll know precisely how much. Like you'll know a good round part, but you won't know every dollar. No, everybody stash. Just in case Exactly. Everybody Everybody just private stash. Just in case I need to exit stage left real fast. I'm good. That's all I'm saying. In a marriage, we're not gonna look at it that way. Exactly. 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 We're gonna say just in case we wanna take a trip to you know, Tahiti. Oh, Chloe's talking about in case it doesn't work out. Oh my god. You always, <laughs> wait a minute. You always got to leave them possibilities. I'm just thinking. No, actually, <laughs> wow. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If you get married to somebody, which is why I haven't done it, but mm-hmm. which you, you can't have that possibility. Mm-hmm. That's our problem right now. We always know there's an out. That's hard. And honestly, and that is sad. honestly, there's only one out, and that's if you're being abused. Mm-hmm. Other than that, just because he get on your nerves. And he sit on the couch. But what about if he cheating? Adultery is, but, but. (laughs) It's only if he covets a neighbor, which is a which is a um, family member, or you're supposed to. And this is 
a perfect world. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to adultery and an affair are different. Elaborate. That sounds crazy. Elaborate. How? Adultery is a physical act. So, so it can be. Uh-huh. It can be. I went to a club one night. I got drunk. Whatever the reason may be, there's mm-hmm. no excuse for it. But an affair, there's an emotional uh, and a spiritual tie, which means that is another relationship. That is something that is is kind of not fixable. Not fixable. People make mistakes, mm-hmm. though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and I'm not saying that adultery doesn't hurt. It does. It's crushing. Mm. But at the same time, you have to understand you married an imperfect person. And what if they have adultery, they never do it again? What if they have an affair, they never do it again? After the affair, if you leave, you won't know that. You know that I agree. That's <laughs> Marriage is different. I agree yeah, to true. disagree. But no, but if a woman did it, exactly. what would happen? I think it's the same rules, but of course, men, because Mm-mm. of their egos, mm-hmm. I'm saying because of a man's ego, he can't handle the fact that someone else has touched his, his woman, property exactly. or his woman or whatever. That's what I'm saying. That would be for them. To, that would be for them to deal with. Yeah. If it was, if it's a female and she's but he probably never really forgive you. Never. That's okay. Never. That's where no one. Yeah. And then if they do stay in the relationship, you can they, best believe they out there doing them just to, for payback, just for revenge. But, but marriage is case, different. In yeah. that mm-hmm. case, that's that's being vindictive. Yeah. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. You got a jet for that. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like I said, I'm in between. I've seen mm-hmm. some old school people make it through it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. On the male and female side. Because, look, Grandpa was cheating. Grandpa yeah. was yeah. drunk. Was right. a rolling up stone. The, yeah. You know, seriously, women back yeah. then, they were ride they or die. They still yeah. through it. Yeah. But still, Mary marriage is together, different. But they were still they stepping were out. Through it. And there are couples that have lasted through infidelity. You go to counseling. You get back on track. You... Sick, poor, rich, hell, good or bad, you take those vows, it's going to be tested. That's supposed to be Ooh, but see, that's what makes marriage so scary to me because yeah. it's just like, <laughs> right. woo. Like, no matter yeah, what, I may, I put a stamp that, like, you know. I don't like that's you a, That's day. the deal, though. But see, and I think that's the importance. That brings me to another topic. I think that's the importance of becoming friends first. Like, I think the problem with relationships Today is just that people quickly just want to jump into a relationship just mm. because, oh, he's just cute and yeah. he look good on paper mm. instead of becoming friends because you don't want to get in a relationship and then become friends and be yeah, like, I don't really person. like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I can't fix cool. this. Yeah. You know, I can't compromise with this because this is not going to yeah. work with me. So that's yeah. why it's so important to become friends. Figure out I the agree. things that you like yeah. and dislike. Yeah. See if you can compromise with it yeah. and then build. And if you approach it like a friendship, you you can really let your, your real self, you mm-hmm. know, show. Communication will be so much easier. Yeah. You won't yeah. be afraid to tell him how you, you know really exactly feel. What you get yourself into yeah. that's right because somebody yeah. you don't know they're kind of and a friend of mine brought this up he says you're kind of faking it yeah somebody new you're kind of putting on this front for the first few mm-hmm. months mm-hmm. if you're friends first yeah yeah it's no fakery you kind of know your, yeah, yeah. That's your do friend. you think men know that though how do you the guys how do you guys think men go into relationships because in my eyes they're the they're the leaders of this like you guys propose to us like we can't get married until you get on your knee it's getting backwards now some ladies yeah, are it doing is. it but that's how it's supposed to go so do you think guys think that men really focus on oh let me become her friend first and no. then no. let me figure you gotta it out. force them no. into that no. really <laughs> elaborate they, maya yeah. no no go ahead no, 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 no. <laughs> no maya, <laughs> no, maya. <laughs> i want to hear your thoughts i, well, I was hear. just saying like you kind of have to lead them towards in little ways, like or kind of hold off on certain stuff, or just mm-hmm. you kind of gotta finesse a little bit. Like, okay, you know, you lead them without letting them know you lead. And that's that is, is. <laughs> yeah. But leading him, as long as he's coming in trying to be laid, yeah. Stuff, he doing but if he's exactly. just totally not even, he, he think he no, doing it. it. <laughs> you know. But little do you know, <laughs> I'm holding that string. No, men don't men don't think that men and women can be friends without sex. I'm they don't. I believe they so. Don't yeah, they're right. That we are able to be friends without it. But once, if you're the kind of person that is is like Maya said, secure with yourself, mm. then you're a cool person. Mm-hmm. So once you go out a couple of times and da 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 da, and if you if you have similar likes, like I'm a sports fanatic. Mm. I don't do lifetime. <laughs> 
I, I like some lifetime, but everybody on lifetimes get beat up, raped. Yeah, it is the same. Killed, yeah. or, Sometimes you know. it is a guilty pleasure. So, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I sports minded men are mm-hmm. like a connection. So that's mm. something that we can always discuss or watch a game. And, and I mean, I'm pretty sure they find that so sexy. I get mm-hmm. sometimes oh, yeah. Yeah. until I know more than them. No. <laughs> <laughs> But they don't think you can be friends until they're actually in the situation. Now I have some great friends I've never had sex with. Mm. So, you know, yeah, like she said, you do have to, you can't approach them with, look, I want you to be my friend first. Right. Because that's going to be like, oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting none. Just, yeah. There's no yeah. possibility, There's no so possibility. I got to. Or yeah. they can still put on the front. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you guys think that you can have a su- successful relationship with someone who you just kind of booty called with your whole <laughs> life? Serious question. And so, no, you mean booty called and then switched into a relationship, or yeah, well, you got booty call. No, no, no. <laughs> like you know, most <laughs> kind of like what we were picking back off. You know, most men kind of feel like we're we're nothing if we're not having sex. But then at a point in time, those feelings grow. Men grow into it with how good the sex is sometimes, and then they're just kind of like, oh, but I like her. I can see myself with her. Yeah, we're having sex mm. frequently, but you mm-hmm. know. I could see myself marrying her. Do you think a successful know. relationship that happen? Like that? You give up I don't too know. much power. Look, you're giving it up to... They don't respect it if they're getting it That's all the time. I'm not giving really the happen. man the benefits of a wife, and he's not my husband. I'm just not doing it's it. Basically, yeah. It hasn't worked. Ever married it's not. Mm-hmm. I, I want to hear Miss Kim thoughts because I've that, seen you know, it. Everybody has their own opinion. That's personally yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, I've, yeah. yeah. I've seen it happen. Um, I've, seen, I've seen people marry people that they've had booty calls with I've seen people have long relationships and honestly ladies if you're out there giving up the booty you need to know how and when to you know you're losing your power effectively that's my opinion yeah. use that uh, of course <laughs> of course you need to know that if you're you know if you get to a point to where you have to do that in order to keep somebody's attention right. you know that's sad yeah that's yeah, not yeah. good so they respectively first. Mm-hmm. If you, I mean, we, we ladies, let's, we are more um, hormonal well, hormonal than <laughs> men. They don't know that. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so it may, you may get a little itch Desires. to where you're like, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm going to check him out. See what is up. You know, mm-hmm. see what's up. But at the same time, you, you still have to, you still have to make them respect even that. I'm just mm-hmm. being real with the yeah. fact that a yeah, lot of, yeah, yeah. a lot of ladies do it. I'm not sitting up here gonna right. yeah. yeah say, oh, everybody's gonna date yeah. without Yeah, you are, but but be respectful with that. Yeah. You know I, that's my thing. Like I feel like if that's what you're gonna do, like own it and do it because you want to do it. You want not to. Because, you and know, let so him know like, I'm doing this because yeah, I want to like right. this is not, your turn. Yeah, this is not every time he calls or whatever. Mm-hmm. Exactly. As you long know, as you have I control call. over you, <laughs> yeah. then it's, you know, it's okay. Because it's yeah, easier it's for you to decision. weave in and out it's of that decision, relationship. Lady. It's your decision, <laughs> Your decision. Your decision. <laughs> Oh, y'all are hilarious. I'm getting sad because we're winding down. We're coming to our last minutes, and this conversation could go on for hours. So um, as we try to wrap up some final thoughts, we're going to go around the room. Just kind of say what men should be doing to approach you and get a woman like you, Don. What what does a man need to do to get a woman you know, like Don? Just, just be himself. Mm-hmm. Um because I am in media, I don't really like dating men that are in media mm-hmm. or trying to be in me. You know, because you never know if they're using you for something. Right. Yeah, know. yeah. Can you put my product? No. <laughs> I, I, I want a man who is just real. Um, I'm going to ride or die with you. Ride or die with me. Let's go to church together. Mm-hmm. I need a prayer partner. Mm-hmm. I need a guy mm-hmm. that's going to be loyal to me um, and just love me mm-hmm. and spoil me a little. Mm-hmm. Um, and just treat me right. And that's let's grow right. our empire together. <laughs> exactly. Hello. So Hello. that's and that's the simple things. It's mm-hmm. not the Louis Vuitton bag. It's not that stuff comes mm-hmm. with yeah. success. But let's just grow as a couple together and grow this empire. Hmm. So, Kim, that's what does a man that's need great. to do to get and receive and get lucky the with the woman? Goodness, the, the, the goodness, <laughs> the goodness. <laughs> um, for for me. Um, like Don, be yourself, Mm -hmm. you know, be yourself, be confident, um, you know, respect the situation, Mm -hmm. you know, so that you, we both are able to, you know, communicate and do what we do effectively. But, you know, most of all, 
understand the order. You know what I'm saying? Don't mm. don't come at me like I'm the understand who I am. Mm. You know, to you, honestly, and I don't care if I'm dating you or not. To you, I'm the bearer of life. I'm a queen. Mm. Mm. So I love it. And I'm gonna treat you the same. I think men are the best thing since toilet paper. Yeah. I'm so serious. I'm gonna treat you like that as long as you handle yourself like that. So handle yourself like that. Mm. And and what you get from me, oh my God, will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. But be ready. To, to give me my due. Isn't that amazing that men don't even know when you're here and treating us like we're supposed to be and doing what you got to do, yeah. the wonders that we will get happy to life, you. Happy life. Oh, my God. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. No Maya, what, I, I what does a man agree. need to do to I, get a beautiful, successful woman like Maya D? Well, I'm, yeah. I'm on my way to success. I'm you still get there. working. Claim it, girl. But, uh, Speak it into the <laughs> Right. <laughs> Just like, you know, the beautiful Miss Don and Miss KJ said, you know, a man who's comfortable in his skin, you know, he's genuine. Um, someone that's smart. I need somebody that that can talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speech is important. They can have a real <laughs> conversation. <Right. laughs> you know, somewhat intellectual, but you know, just hard worker. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm interested in building something bigger than me, something that's gonna yeah. be around, you know, way past like, you know, let's leave some legacies. Let's, yeah. Let's build together. So I, I don't know. I feel like I don't ask so much. Just yeah. Somebody that I can have a good conversation mm. with. Yeah. But let me say this. I might date a man in media because then he kind of knows <laughs> how you got to work. Yeah, he knows your schedule. Are you going to Photoshop that photo? <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, Kim, I am in media. I have a reputation. So don't be... Uh. You know, she's taking, pi- We're taking pretty, pictures but can you photoshop I'm just saying I'm photoshopping you I'm just saying look how pretty you look look at now she's oh, over there really okay. sitting there playing so that's pictures. what I'm saying okay but anyway I would date a man in media mm-hmm. because then he kind of know what I'm dealing with if I have to go do whatever so yeah yeah, I'm just saying he understands. Yeah. so let me I, not say that. No, I but hear the you. The media men listening. Yeah, okay, I you hear you. And for me, look- you know, Chloe, <laughs> Miss Chloe <laughs> Chantel is single, and you know, the type of man that I'm looking for is just someone that will push me okay. just as much as I will push you. Yeah. In a nutshell, I'm still young, so I'm still finding myself, mm-hmm. and I know you're still yeah. finding mm-hmm. you. But we'll figure it out. Sorry. But this has been a fantastic show of the chat room. Ladies, I want to thank you all for coming in for Ladies Night. Um, next week, to the, all the people who are listening out there, next week we'll, we, we will have a men's night. Because we can't we can't just, you know, talk about them and can't have them come in and express their opinions. So we have to give their side of the story. So we're going to have some men in the studio next week that's going to chat it up with what type of women they're looking for. So uh, great. we will see you next Monday, 8 p.m. right here in the chat room at hmsnetradio.org. Y'all come back. Come on, and way we go stay down. People try to down the ATP, but you know what's up, well you know what it be. Ain't no way they can hold us back. For well, iceberg on a Mr. Bonnet on a track. We got the bass dropping and the throat crunk up. So you know what's up. It's time to bring the booty on. And I'm checking for shot because you know she got it going on. What's up to the big money makers? No shots out to them other player haters. Lil' Red and the boys from the south. What's up? We can't cut it out.